Start with why. Why would anybody consider holding a District 42 leadership role, for example, as public relations manager, which is what I am? My name is Terry, and for the past year, I've been the public relations manager for District 42. And for the next five minutes, I want to share with you nine key topics that I learned during this year. But the amazing thing about those nine is that they are fully transferable skills. Skills that you can use at your job, at your business, at your sideline, at your volunteer group, or just plain old you in everyday life. It's an amazing way to learn. It's a safe place to learn. And I'll share with you these nine. When the year started, the very first thing I had to do was for a district director, I had to create a business plan. From the one page overview to the nine pages following, I had to tell the district team how I'm going to market our Toastmasters for that year. How I'm going to use social media. How am I going to use the web? How am I going to build up my team? And a business plan is transferable to most anything that you will do in your life. Teams. How are you going to build your team? I had six people on my team to help me with public relations material. From the website, from the blogging, from taking pictures at events like David's doing today. And our district team at the top here is six. And public relations manager is one of them. It's a nice small team that we learn how to work together. Leadership styles. There's really eight in total, but the top four that you see in big letters are the ones that really apply in Toastmasters. Because I have learned what leadership skills I love and which ones I don't really excel at. From democratic, autocratic, laissez-faire, or coach style. Democratic. It's when you have three months to make a decision. You can be democratic with your team. If they give you only one week, you have to go autocratic. Just tell your team what you've decided. Let them know that you thought of their input. Laissez-faire is like anything goes, but the most important one is coach style. Because you will have on your team people that have maybe less than a year of experience with Toastmasters, and you'll have members that are, have 20 plus years. So you'll have to coach those people along. <coughs> Networking skills. This is something that I've learned from events such as this, from club special events, and from my regular club meetings. Networking skills, how do you connect with people? How do you introduce yourself? How do you shake hands? How do you look interested in what they're doing? And how do you build a rapport with them? Networking skills, either for your job, to find a job, or your volunteer role, or just for everyday life is invaluable. Now, marketing yourself. You could be the most qualified person. You can have all the skills in the world. You can walk on water, but if you can't market yourself, you're as good as dead. You have to know how to market yourself without going over the top and sounding like too much. And that you read back by their body language so that you know exactly if you said enough. Journeys. That's the one initiative I brought in this year on our uh, D42 website. It's a blog about Toastmasters just like you. And it's their success stories so that we can push it out on our social media stream to the world and let the general public know what they could learn in Toastmasters. Brand and branding. I never understood this until this year. What is brand? Brand is what somebody will say about you when you're not in the room. <laughs> and you hope that it's the brand you want to build, the good brand. And if not, then you have to slowly start making changes to the way you do things so that you build a brand you're happy with. It's nice to be talked about, and if people are saying good things about you, your brand is doing well. Social media footprint. We have LinkedIn, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Pinterest. Some people like Facebook, some like LinkedIn. So I had to devise a social media footprint. Which social media are we going to use along with our District 42 website? And how are they going to link together? And if you're going into a business for yourself, social media today is invaluable because of the internet. So you can take this skill into your work life or your even business life when you start up one and Zooming. This year, we use Zoom extensively at the district level, from meetings, from club coaches, all our executive meetings, because our District 42 is scattered over Southern Alberta, Southern Saskatchewan. We use Zoom extensively. And the other thing is, it's a little different how you appear in video. The funniest thing I heard was a member says to me, I don't like the way I look in video. I said, guess what? That's the first impression you make when you meet someone. They're seeing your video. 
So you better start liking it. If not, you have a chance to change it, make it the way you want it so that it brands you the right way. So from Toastmaster to you, you have an opportunity to jump into a district level role such as public relations manager to take your skills from Toastmasters and take it to the real world. Whether it's your job, your business, looking for a job, your volunteer life, or just everyday you. So become a Toastmaster in transformation. Awesome.